Thank you for reaching FTC4 production. Today, my people, as usual, bringing more value to the community, to my people, to your pockets, to your life. Let me introduce you a straightforward, but be, well, you know what? Before anything else, don't forget to smash the like button and the subscribe button. And also, remember, I am not being sponsored. I don't get paid for anything. This is our free stuff that I'm trying to figure it out and find out on the site and through in places that many people don't even occur to look for. And I bring it in here to share it with you to our working community. The one that work really hard, the one that trying to push forward for their children and to sustain their family. I bring this to you for free. And if you didn't like the video, still smash the like button and the subscribe button so you can demonstrate that you can still give some love despite of this video sucks. <laughs> Moving forward, Amazon Future Engineer. Status open, now accepting applications, our amount 40K. Application deadline 24, January 25th, 2022, 3 p.m. Kurt. Apply. This is a double size opportunity for future engineers. A hundred students like you will be able to get 40K for college and a graduated pay internship at Amazon. Forget about the 40K. You're going to be getting an internship paid by Amazon and Amazon. You know what is this means? Do you have any idea what it means? internships you're gonna be working for the big people and if you actually perform well the sky is the limit you can actually end up working for them these are opportunities that are out there information is power before information was segregated to certain number of people now it's not excuse anymore you can have you have the power at the palm of your hands yourself when you can go out there and start to search simple things that you couldn't get before or you had to pay before to get to know them now you get them to know for free look at this opportunity this opportunity can be provided to anyone anyone any background you just gotta apply and just say some prayers and hopefully you get it but it's, it doesn't cost you nothing to apply that's what I'm trying to say. Give yourself a chance to become better. And these are opportunities that you can get. Let's see if you're eligible. You're planning to pursue a programming degree at college. Keep coding in the classroom. This is one of the futures engineer planning to earn a bachelor's degree in a computer science related field to study. See a uh, frequency, frequency ask questions section for a listing of related majors from a accredited four years college or from a two years college intending to transfer to a four year college degree. So if you really don't have money to go straight to the university, pretty much as they're saying, go to the two year college that give you a regular um, associate degree related with your science with the thought of going to the four-year university to do electrical engineer or computer science something related with what they're trying to say you will definitely still qualify so you have tried computer science and you want to learn more I would recommend you to be more focused with computer science because that's what they want I mean Amazon needs programmers to be eligible for this one you need to have taken computer science classes in high school or at a college tour program or currently be or enroll in one so this means that if you have taken classes in high school probably if you're still in high school I think you will still be able well if you have taken computer science classes in high school that means that you probably might be in the senior level about to graduate to go to college so that uh, scholarship will be available for you when you go to college so you gotta investigate that I'm, I mean, for more, I'm going to put the, the URL down to below to my video so you can actually have an idea, um, more idea about this. But I'm going to keep reading. It's cool if you have not. 
but you can take a qualifying exam offered by Amazon and the example include International Baccalaureate, a computer science course, Advanced Placement, AP Computer Science, A or AP Computer Science Principle. If you pass it, you still in, even though you don't have those courses. Um, you have got a financial gap to fill. This opportunity is offered to support students with a notable need for financial assistance. If that hits home, this is for you. That is great. I love it. Low-income people, low-income family that actually are in need over there, my people from the projects, this is for you. You are a high school senior operating at least a B. You don't need to be a perfect student to be considered just a student who takes their studies seriously. This one needs at least a 3.0 accumulated GPA out of the uh, 4.0 scale or equivalent. You don't need to be an honor student, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, 3.0 is still, I mean, really difficult to perform, but if you are right 2.8 or 2.9, give it a check. You never know. There might somebody look at you like, this guy is 2.9 uh, or 2.8. Eh, eh. Maybe you might get lucky. Give it a try. You never know. They probably might still give it to you. It's destiny. But if you don't make an stand and go for it and apply for it, I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's, there are certain opportunities that comes to your door. You got to take advantage of them. You have to. Because if you don't, you might be questioning for the rest of your life in the future, like, man, what if I have done this? You know what I'm saying? There are certain... Life works in a very mysterious ways, and you have to take advantage of those opportunities. You have to. Because you never know. Okay? I mean, you, you have to give it a try, even though it's not... Even though the credential says that you don't qualify for it, but you need the money, and you know you're not gonna be able. To, you're not gonna be able to perform your dream without that scholarship. Um, you gotta give it a try. I gotta tell you, you don't wanna get hooked like a fish with these evil financial aid loans that are being provided to most of our youngsters that are about to. That have a lot of dream and a lot of shiny, sparkly, sparkle. I mean, going on in their brains, and they wanna eat the entire world, and they say that they're gonna become the next um, uh, Elon Musk. It. I don't wanna discourage many people out there, but life is a little bit rougher. It's rough. It's rough out there right now, and those students alone will eat you alive. So. This is the time for you high school youngsters that are listening to me. Try to get good score at high school so when you go out there and start to look for your scholarships, you don't have a, have a difficult time getting them. And you don't end up in, 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 in financial aid loans, student loans, forgive my, yeah, sorry, I mean student loans. Financial aid is the help. Student loans. You don't want to get hooked up with us. It's a business. And you will be part of the pool. So, be careful. I just wanted to say that. Work eligible in the United States for at least two years. This includes United States citizen, United States permanent resident, holder of a permanent resident car, or employment authorization to work in the United States. Employment authorization must be valid for at least two years. This means that if you are a DACA recipient and you actually have authorization to work in the United States, you can actually apply. Citizen, resident, permanent resident, yes, you can. If you are an international student and you have a license to work in the United States, you're eligible to be in the United States at least for two years, you do apply. If you don't have proper documentations, unfortunately, this is not for you. Um, it's very clear and 
we have to give opportunity to our residents and citizen which are the one who are taxpayers so yeah it's there so this is pretty much it I'm gonna leave it up to here there are another section of what do, documents do I need for more I'm gonna actually leave uh, well you need a short answer prompt online recommendation transit transcript or okay, grade that's where and it has to be official transcript it's nothing that you can print out from your computer no you have to apply for your official transcript so I mean they know it's not gonna be falsified or anything um, and the most recently filed 1040 oh my goodness this is to find out for real that you really need the money. It's not working around with these, my fellows. I mean, if you don't have proper documentation and you're still filling taxes, I mean, you can wiggle it. You know, you keep working around and give it a check, but you got to give transit credit, online recommendation. This recommendation must be submitted by a teacher, preferably a computer science teacher. I mean, and the short answer prompt. I mean, this is actually three, I mean, to three questions, including the following prompt. Tell us about your educational and career goals and objectives. A space is limit, so be concise and as possible. Those 250 words have to be impacting. You gotta actually write down something that get to their bonds, that they're giving some chills in their skin. Letters like that are most likely the one that pass many of the things and can give you, you know, stuff like that. If you have gotten this far and you're interested, apply in CSET at one, two, three, step one, visit the hub, a scholarship American application system, create or log into your account and complete your profile. And step three, search for the program under the scholarship tab and begin your application. Apply. This is where you get it, scholarship of America, hub, and this is what you're going for. I just click it in there so you have an idea what you're going to get into. All right. This is Franklin from um, FTC4 Production. I hope that this video um, was a very, very, very um, uh, good for you and, and you actually got some value from it. Um, please take advantage of this. Um, there is more going on here. This is for dreams, I mean, with things, careers. Take advantage of these. Um, anything you can do to get me to apply for it. I'm gonna tell my nephews, but they're already, um, you know what? No, they are 11, 10. I think uh, no, they wouldn't qualify for this. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Good luck and have a wonderful day. I hope if you actually, some of you actually get to apply and and get the scholarship, please let me know. If you actually got informed through this video and you successfully got a scholarship, please let me know. It will really, really got to my heart. And um, I just really want to help. Okay. And I hope that this video get to your door and you will be able to get advantage of it. That's what I want. Good luck. I wish you the best. And I hope that some of my followers uh, get this scholarship, becomes one of these scholarship applicants, uh, winners. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.